Why are you back here? It's only been a week. Shouldn't you be working up to strenuous activities like this? Wait, better question. Didn't you learn not to make hikes like this without adult supervision? <laughs> oh no, you do not get to direct the focus on me. You are the idiot wandering alone in the place you died only a week ago. You aren't going to let this go, are you? So fucking stubborn. You are rather irritating. If you really prefer to be out here risking your safety and your life alone, I can leave. There is really nothing keeping me here, and there are a multitude of other places I could be. Well, okay then. Stop worrying about why I'm here, and accept the company. Good. I guess you may have some sense in that pile of mush you call a brain. So, how are you? Is everything okay? Are, are you okay? Well, of course I fucking care. I'm not completely heartless. And after what happened, I feel oddly, I don't know, responsible for you. Ugh, not like that. Like a shepherd responsible for a brain-dead sheep. Now, answer the damned question. Are you okay? <laughs> Unfortunate. But it sounds like you are progressing normally, from what I understand, which admittedly is not much, as far as that is concerned. Are you getting help? Other than just medically, are you talking to someone for the nightmares? Good. That's good. Me? Why on earth would you feel the need to talk to me? <sighs> Lots of reasons. Okay. Cared to expand on that just a bit? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Wait. You are right. There is a lot we need to talk about, and there's lots of moving parts involved. Too many to try to get into right now. While you are still just trying to stay up, uh, trying to keep your head. <sighs> I seem unable to find a metaphor that doesn't involve drowning. You're still dealing with the after-effects of the incident. So, let's start slow. One thing at a time. Let's start with why you're here. You are here because of a feeling in the center of your chest. Like there's something there, actually physically there, that wasn't there before. Heavy. Something trying to pull you somewhere. 
and the more you try to ignore it, the stronger it gets every day. I know this because that's why I'm here. I can explain it, but I need to show you something first, and you need to trust me, okay? Can I take your hand? Yeah. This might feel weird for a second. Just trust me. It's okay. It doesn't hurt, does it? Good. Okay, now look down between us. That is what you have been feeling. It's called a soul bond. Yes, like in your book. We'll talk about that later. Somehow, we have become bonded. And now, we call for each other when we are apart. That's what that feeling is. That pull. That heaviness. Oh. God, do you really care how it happened? Is that really what's important to you right now? Because if it is, you've got some interesting priorities. Sometimes I really do wonder what it's like inside that skull. afraid of that. No, it's okay. Just keep trusting me and look down again at your hands this time. No, it's okay. It's your flame. It's not going to hurt you. is a lot, and I can't explain it all, not right now. What I can tell you right now is all that you really need to know right now. Magic is real. It is real, and it's in you now. No, I'm not positive how that's happened either, though I do have a theory. That, dear one, is going to have to wait for another time. I think you've had enough to deal with for the moment. I don't know how much your fragile little human brain can handle before imploding on itself. Yes, I called you dear one. Is that okay with you? <laughs> okay. It's fine, I'm still good with Ari. No. I'm still not going to tell you what it is short for. You stubborn ass. Oh, whoa. I got you. 
I knew you were overdoing it, coming out here. And then heaping all this shit on your shoulders on top of it. We really should get you home now. <sighs> Fine. We can stay here a bit. Just because you need a bit to recharge. You still like the sound of this creek? Even after everything. You really are odd. I do tend to agree, though. I also find it soothing. I'm glad that that comfort wasn't taken from you. Later. Rest now. We'll figure everything out later. I promise. <laughs>